Alrighty. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Full Body Strength. I'm Avery. As always, we ask you to consult your physician or physical therapist prior to beginning any new type of exercise. And please only do the exercises that you're comfortable with. So today we're gonna to start on the floor. You don't need any weight for the first one. We're gonna do bicycles. This is an ab workout. So hands behind your head, knees up 90 degrees. You're gonna to touch your elbow to your opposite knee and alternate. and kick that other leg out as you do it. We'll do about 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. All right, in three, two, and one. Take a little rest. We're gonna do clamshells next, so laying on your side. With your feet together, your knees together, knees slightly bent. I'm gonna open your knee up towards the ceiling. All right, and switch sides. Same thing, feet together, knees together. And open up your knee towards the ceiling. And three, two, and one. All right, you're gonna grab one weight. We're gonna do an overhead reach. So you're gonna be laying flat on your back with your knees bent. You can hold the weight by the two ends. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly lower that with straight arms over your head and bring it back up to center and down again. Engage your core. Do a little bit of a pelvic tilt here. You can flatten your back towards the mat. Ten more seconds. In three, two, and one. All right. You can drop the weight for the next one. We're gonna do a straight leg raise. So staying in that same position, position you're gonna have one knee bent, one leg flat out. You're gonna lift it up, slowly lower it to the ground and back up. All righty, and switch sides, same thing. All right, five more seconds. In three, two, and one. All right, you can grab a weight for this one. We're gonna do an alternating chest fly. So you're gonna have two weights above your head with your knees bent and your feet flat on the ground. Now open up that arm to the right, back to the middle and switch to the left and back to the middle. <laughs> 
Very good. About 10 more seconds. And rest. Very good. We're going to transition to our hands and our knees for this. We're going to be doing a row from all fours, so you'll need one weight. So with your knees underneath your hips and your hands underneath your shoulders, you're going to have one weight by your side. And you're going to pull that weight up towards your hip. Keep the elbow towards your body nice and close and back down. Very good. And we're going to switch to the other side here. Same thing. Right up to your pocket area. Slow on the way down. Couple more. And rest. We're going to stay in this position. We're going to do the bird dog. So, again, with your knees underneath your hips, your hand underneath your shoulders, I'm going to lift the opposite arm and opposite leg straight out in front of you, straight out behind you. And we're going to stay doing it on this side and go back to the center, back out to the front. All right, nicely done. We're going to switch sides. Same thing. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And a couple more. and rest. Grab some water if you need it. We're going to go back to sitting on our on our back side. We're going to do reverse crunches. So laying on your back with your knees bent 90 degrees. You're going to be slowly lowering your feet to the ground with the knees still bent and back up. Nice and slow. All right, a couple more. Good, and relax. The first time we did the clamshells, this time we're gonna do an inverse clamshell. So you're gonna be on your side. <clears throat> and instead of opening your knee up, you're gonna keep your knees together and lift your foot towards the ceiling. A little bit different this time. Only go as high as you can. As you can. Some people have more range of motion than others. Good, and switch sides. Knees together and lift up that foot.
in three, two, and one. Very good. You can roll back over to your back. We're going to do that overhead reach again. So grabbing one weight, holding it by the ends. This time, we, first time we had our feet flat on the ground like this. This time, I'm going to try to have you hold your feet up at 90 degrees with your knees. Very good. And slowly over your head. This will engage the core a little bit more. Very good, make sure you're breathing in and out. All right, in three, two, and one, relax. All righty. We're gonna go to another ab exercise. I'm gonna really work those today. We're gonna do the straight leg raises. So hands underneath your hips, your feet are gonna be straight out. I'm going to raise them straight to the ceiling, slow low on the way down. In three, two, and one. Relax, take a breath. <clears throat> We're gonna go back to that alternating chest fly. So laying on your back, same position you're in now. Bend your knees, feet flat on the ground. With your two weights, you're just gonna hold them over your head. The right side down to the mat, back up to the center and switch to the left side. Very good. Do one more on each side. And rest. All right, we're gonna go back to our hands and our knees. Let's take your time getting there, grab some water if you need it. All right, all you'll need is the one weight, just like before with the row. So knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Take that one weight by your side, pull it up towards your hip and slowly back down. A couple more and then we'll switch. Good, and switch sides. All right, do two more here. And relax, all right. We're gonna go right into that bird dog hold that we did. This time we're gonna hold it. So again, opposite arm, opposite leg. You're just gonna hold that position. Might be a little wobbly, but that's okay. Try to hold it. Make sure you're breathing in three, two, 
and one, switch sides, and hold. All right, in three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to stand up for the rest of class today. Get some water. You can roll up the mat if you'd like. Throw it off to the side. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? Okay. All right, I'm gonna start with a hammer curl. So we're gonna do a balance pose with it as well. So go heel to toe with your feet, two weights about 90 degrees with your elbows, with your thumbs pointing towards the ceiling. I'm going to lift them up to your shoulders and slowly down. Good job with the balance pose. All right, we're gonna switch the foot that's in the front. Same thing. Good. Hi, Allie. <laughs> All right, a couple more. And relax. All right, we're gonna go into a squat. So you're gonna have your weight up by your shoulders, feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down, keeping your eyes up, your chest up, and then you're gonna take a step in and a step out and down. So we can do it together. Squat down, step in, out, and down. Very good. Do three more. And last one. Very good. Okay. We're going to do a single leg calf raise. So go near something you can maybe either grab onto, or if you're comfortable, you can do it just standing there too. You're going to kick one foot behind your heel and raise up onto your toe and slowly lower to the ground and back up. Very good and switch sides, same thing. Five more seconds. And three, two, and one. All right. We're going to do a reverse lunge. So start with your feet together. You can grab weight if you want to. You don't need to use weight if you don't, if you're not comfortable with it. If you do have the weight, hold them up by your shoulders. You're going to step back and down and push up through this front heel and back up. And you're going to alternate. So down with the other leg, push up and keep switching. Very good. 
About 10 more seconds. And three, two, and one. All right. You can grab a lighter weight for this one. We're gonna do some U's is what they're called. So holding your elbows 90 degrees, just like this. All you're doing is opening them up all the way to the sides and back. Try to keep your elbows at the same height. Very good. All right, a couple more. And three, two, and one. Give your arms a little break. You can shake them out. We'll do some arm circles. You can drop the weight if you'd like. Do some big, wide arm circles. Forwards. And back. And you can hold your arm to one side. Stretch it out and switch. All right, you can grab those weights again. We're going to do bicep curls. The first time we did them, we had the weights holding up like this. This time they're going to be out to the sides. So I want to have you go into that balance pose again, heel to toe. I'm going to go all the way down, all the way up to your shoulders really slow on the way down here. All right, and switch the foot that's in the front. And keep going. Very good. Five more seconds, almost there. And rest, very good. We're gonna go back to that squat so you can keep the weight, feet shoulder width apart, eyes up, chest up, sit back into the squat when you get to the top. Two steps in, two steps out. So down, step, 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 and down again. Very good. Last few minutes of class. All right, and three, two, and one. And drop the weight. We did a single leg calf raise the first time. This time you can go to the same position you were in. We're just gonna do a hamstring curl. So lifting your heel up. And slow on the way down. Very good. All right, and we're going to switch right here. And three, two, and one. Very good. We're gonna go back to those reverse lunges. So you can grab the weights if you'd like. Up by your shoulders, feet together. And step back down into it and push up again through that front heel. And stand up nice and tall. And switch sides. These get the heart rate up a little bit.
Very good. Almost there. Five seconds. And three, two, one. All right. You can drop the weights for the last exercise. We're just going to be standing with our feet, you know, kind of underneath us. Slight bend in the knee. You're going to hinge at the hip. You're going to have your two hands out in front of you. And all you're going to do is you're going to lift them straight up, making a Y with your body. And squeeze your shoulder blades at the top. Last 15 seconds of class, finish strong. All righty, in three, two, and one. Very good. Thanks for coming.